think that's where the magic starts. My name is Joyce and I am a professional calligrapher. I go by the pen name Artsy Nibs. I tell people that I write for a living. I write menus, invites, program sheets, anything really that you can think of using a pen and ink. The reason why I use a notebook is because it would be quite ironic if I write for a living and I don't write in my you know, planning time or leisure time. So I love the idea of pen and paper pencil and paper. I feel like it's a lot easier for me to materialize my thoughts on paper. I have many different notebooks for different things. So I have my work notebook where I, you know, I write down my to-do list mainly. I write down memos for meetings or things I have to prepare for. And I have my, my journal that I pen down my thoughts and then I have my sketchbook. Basically, it's almost like a, a school kid's notebook. There's tons of doodles and ideas. I do use a different insert. I use the diary a lot. So I have you know, the dates down, it's sort of my, like my personal calendar. The square ones for my sketching. I'm just going with the blank ones now. Yeah, I do use the, the calligraphy inserts because it's something that's really close to my heart. I love traveling and I'm always on the move. I find that that's really good for you know, traveling. I usually go about with a pencil or my ballpoint um, when I can't travel around with my fountain pen. The calligraphy notebook actually helps me to keep up with my practice, to be honest. My favorite type of place to write will be in a cafe like this. It could be really you know, bustling or it could, be, it could be as quiet as this. I do enjoy a cup of coffee and writing and people watching, ideally in Amsterdam. I think I would say my favorite cafe in Amsterdam will be Toki. I just use the pencil for everything because I, I do feel that um, it takes away a lot of um, pressure because you can erase it off if you make a mistake. Yeah, I'll just say a pencil. I'm a huge fan of Blackwing. I mean, I do use um, a lot of you know, brush pens and calligraphy pens uh, for, for work professionally. But I think by and large, when it comes to, you know, the majority of the writing, um, note-taking, ideas, formulating, and stuff like that, I always believe it starts with the pencil. The pencil is the least intimidating tool. If you can pick that up, I think that's where the magic starts. So we had the original shade. <laughs> uh, how long have I had this? Ooh. I think easily at least two years. But this is not my first one. First one will be longer than that. I was working with a marketing company in the UK and they were promoting Paper Republic's product. I've you know, come into contact with their product and I think six months later, I was at a trade show and I passed their stand. So then I backtracked and then I said, I, I know you guys, that was where I got to know Paper Republic, I got to know Jerome. I do like the options of having to choose what kind of leather cover I like. Um, I've got one in black, I've got one in this color, and I've got another one in the red one, you know, just for different purposes. I've grown to love how it changes over time. Yeah, I think mainly it's the clean look, but just colorful. I have a really bad habit of trying to put too many things in my insert. I like the idea that, you know, you can put in your your diary, your notebook, even your little card holders like these. It makes this entire thing a lot more valuable than my purse. This has become more important than my purse. Okay. <laughs>